Tomorrow is Halloween, a fun filled night for kids, usually all the candy. So today we're talking with pediatric nurse practitioner Lynn Klett with Cone Health Pedi Piedmont Pediatrics about the impact that all that candy can have and the importance of moderation. And we're going to talk about some other things too when it comes to all things Halloween. All right, let's talk about that candy because we know we're going to eat it. We know we're going to let our kids eat it, right? That's realistic. So how much candy is considered okay versus too much for a child to consume in like a setting or a day? So that's going to vary a lot by the age of the child. So you know, a three, four, five year old, I would say limit three to five pieces at most. You know, a 12 year old, they can handle a little bit more than five pieces. Uh, moderation is always kind of your keyword for how much candy that you're gonna eat. Yeah, and this is like the holiday for candy. So we want kids to enjoy Halloween. We also want to promote healthy eating habits. So how about some strategies that maybe parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles can do to help limit the kids candy intake on Halloween night and then, you know, not make it feel like it's a restriction. Yeah, so the first thing I always recommend, eat a good dinner before you go trick or treating. So get your protein, your vegetables, drink your water, your milk. So you're trick or treating with a relatively full tummy. Um, so the temptation to eat everything isn't there as much. It's, it'll still be there, but not as much. Um, you, I always say set your expectations before you leave. So tell your kiddos, okay, we are going to go this many blocks. Um, you cannot eat any candy until we get home um, so that we can check it and make sure it's safe and not you know, have an allergen in it or it hasn't been opened or tampered. Uh, but I think those are the biggest thing is to eat Eat a balanced dinner before you go trick or treating. Make sure you're well hydrated and then set those limitations and expectations for what what fun is going to look like. OK, um, so, you know, this could be a kid's first or second Halloween where they're actually going out and trick or treating and that kind of thing. So if your child does overindulge in candy and maybe you've never had this before, what symptoms should parents watch for? Tummy aches is a big one. Uh, tummy aches, vomiting, nausea, um, are, are kind of the big things that we see if we've overindulged in candy. Um, not a whole lot you can do for it other than encouraging water, putting the candy up where they can't reach it, um, uh, and just keeping an eye on them are, are the biggest things. Mm -hmm. it, it's not a, you know, only one thing to do, uh, but the biggest things to watch for, complaints of tummy aches. Uh, some kiddos are really sensitive to sugar and they might actually have headaches as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and then signs of dehydration because sugar can can cause some dehydration. So if your kid has the stomach aches and they're kind of nauseous and that kind of thing, any kind of home remedies that can help that? Sipping on ice water is a good one. You don't want to chug anything. Drinking too fast can make, can make you vomit. Uh, peppermint tea is always a good thing to help settle the tummy. Uh, there are some over-the-counter uh, remedies for stomach aches, nausea, I always recommend reading the label really well, looking at the age range that those medications are approved for and the dosages for those. And I don't know, does it ever get to the point where like kids eat so much candy that they it's a concerning level and medi medical attention is necessary? I don't think it's, it happens very often. Uh, we're more likely to see that in our kiddos who are diabetic and ate a few more without telling mom and dad or caregiver how much mm -hmm. they ate. And so their insulin coverage didn't cover all of that. Uh, or we see it from dehydration because they had the vomiting uh, and they became dehydrated. Gotcha, okay. All right, we're gonna continue to talk about all things Halloween and safety and things of that nature. We're gonna be talking about some behavioral impacts with too much sugar and some other stuff. That's coming up right after this break.